Mike Sullivan, and as you can tell, I am here at home. In a minute, we're gonna walk out the back door, and I'm gonna show you something you can do at home to help you putt a whole lot better. All right, so as you can see, I am at home. You may be home too, and I wanted to show you something you could do to work on your golf game from home where you would know that you're doing the right thing, where you'd get good feedback and you'd be a better player when, you're, when you leave than when you, than when you start your practice session. So we're gonna work on putting and we're gonna use the Perfect Motion app. I've got it right here on my phone. Uh, first, real quick, let's show you how to use this. So you can just download the app to your phone. You can go to my webpage. SullivanGolf.net forward slash perfect motion and install it to your phone from there. Then once you get it installed, you'll create an account. Then on the bottom of the screen, you can see here it says find a pro. I click on find a pro. And right now, look, I'm featured pro. Isn't that great? Hit my name, Mike Sullivan. And now you can make, uh, make me your golf pro. So I'll be able to see your motion maps. I'll be able to see what you're doing. Click that little button, make Mike my, my pro right there. Continue, yes. All right, here we go. May as well have another sip. So the coffee cup is not just here as I like to drink coffee. It's gonna help me in my training because I'm gonna use it to hold my phone up. So I'm gonna set this just down just a couple of feet in front of where my ball's gonna be. But let's talk about um, the, the one principle that we wanna knock out here, and that is having a nice steady head while you are putting. Okay, so oftentimes when I'm working with golfers, and it's not always just new golfers, but I, 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 I'm working with people and I'm watching them putt and I'm seeing this sort of a thing, right? That's just one example. They shift their weight back and their head moves back. We also see just a lot of, a lot of movement. And usually their head's going back as the, as the putter head goes forward. If you look at a tour player, you're gonna see you're gonna see a rock solid, steady lower body. And you're also gonna see a steady head as they're putting, especially short putts. So how do you do that and know that you're doing it correctly on your own? And that's where perfect motion can really help out. So let's take a look at this, how we do this. So I'm gonna go ahead back to that screen and I'm gonna go into training on this app at this time. By the way, the app's always being updated. It could look a little bit different by the time you see this. Go into training, and on the bottom it says putt. I'm gonna hit the putt button. So you can see we're looking at this plus sign in between two bars. Well, that plus sign is gonna turn into like a bullseye that's gonna show me in real time what my head is doing. So I'm gonna hit start and place this down in front of me. Now, when you put the phone down, if you don't tilt it right, it'll tell you to change it. Four, so if I do it up too much, it's gonna say phone not placed correctly, tilt phone backward. Four, so I'm gonna get it tilted three, correctly. Two, All right, one. and then it gives me a little countdown. Look Hold on target. there, lady. All right. Look to target. Look back at Look ball. Back at ball. Go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make my stroke. And you can see my head went back and I hit that back line. Oh, look, it's forward back. So it stays going real time. You don't have to keep resetting it or anything. Now here's the tip. To help me maintain a steady head, what I've found, this just works for me and I recommend it to a lot of people. I try to set my weight a little bit more onto my front foot, like as if I'm leaning against like a wall with my hip. So it's set in here, right? Okay. Reset now. Oh, because it, it started me in the middle. All right. There we go. Now I'm in the middle, right? Tick, tock. Good. See how it's barely moving there? And I don't know, I didn't feel any movement at all. Let's try it again. So I'm going to set my weight into that front leg. I'm really leaning there. There's my bullseye, right? Tick. Talk. I saw it move back a teeny, teeny bit. And you can practice this without a ball as well. Set left side. Tick, talk. And if you get really good at never 
hitting one of those little bars, you can level up and, and move those bars closer together. So I'm gonna hit level two now. Oh, look at this, see? Hit start. Okay, set up to putt, look to target, look back at ball. Sorry, looking at the ball, and now go. Okay, so I'm staying in that level two zone. Oops, too far back. Let's try level three. Start. Four, three, two, one. Set up. Set up to putt. Look to, Look target. to target. Look back at Look ball. Look back at ball. Go. Go. So I'm watching the screen here, okay? And I can see I'm staying inside of those parameters. So it's always easier to do without a ball. Now I'm gonna try it with a ball. This is actually kind of fun. Okay, okay lady, all right. There we go, set up there. I'm gonna start right in the middle. Look back at ball, go. Good. Now one thing is, is I even go, if I follow the ball with my head, it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna show me that I went too far forward. Go. Not bad, okay? So perfect motion, um, if you've been following the videos and following my channel, I've been using a lot with students in the full swing, and what's great is I can see full swing pressure maps, or not pressure maps, motion maps. Um, and with the putting, it's great because you can real time just go ahead and keep working that putting stroke. And again, the more steady and quiet your lower body is gonna be, the more steady your spine is gonna be, and so you're gonna be able to have this nice little movement without too much of this stuff going on. It's gonna help you hit better putts for sure. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.